<laughs> Last week I was watching the F3 stream while we were commenting the fourth stream. <laughs> right, good evening everyone. This is PlayStation GL, the Formula 4 League. It's round number 8 at from the Suzuka Circuit. In my opinion, the best track in the world. Uh, <laughs> certainly my favourite track in the world. It's a dry qualifying session, which is slightly surprising, although the race could be wet because if my memory serves me correctly, every single race I've commentated on F4 has been wet. <laughs> so I am a good or bad luck charm depending on which way you want to look at it. <laughs> I'm joined again by Demon who is, I assume, just checking whether it's working, but I think it is because we have a viewer. Yes. That could actually be you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's up. Yeah, Higgs in her. Oh, Light rain nice. race. Uh, unfortunately, as you can see, the turnout tonight is, is not is not the best. Uh, we have ten drivers. Uh, good news for everyone is, if they finish the race, they have points. Um, so that is um, that's always a positive. Um, the bad news is, there's maybe less potential winners. I don't know. I mean, Josh is here, but from what I hear, he's a bit under the weather. So I don't know how that will affect his performance. Uh, I've got Iran, who won last time out in China, along with his teammate Grumps, who's had two podiums in a row. How do you see this race going today? Um, I don't know. I, I was uh, watching them practice a little while ago, and most of them were struggling until they made a few adjustments, so let's see well, who makes the right adjustments. Well, speaking of drivers struggling, uh, Miles has binned it on his outlap. Um, had a spin and now he's oh almost hit a Mercedes and a Sauber so that was a bit touching go over. Oh he's gone off again I think he's just letting him through. Oh, yeah you got okay. out of the way. Ah, okay. <laughs> so Miles already having a few adventures and that's not even his flying lap. Um could be his first points of the season tonight too. Well I mean it should be. <laughs> I mean he's all he's got to do is finish the race. I mean, back. if you have a spin tonight, don't give up. Just, you know, put four fresh ones on it and go back out. Yep. Three points up for grabs for everyone t today, but I think the likes of Josh and um, Aaron will want a bit more than just points. They'll be chasing the yeah. win to keep alive. Keep up their championship hopes. If I look quickly at the driver standings, it's Aaron who leads by one point at the moment. He's the only driver who... Actually, no, that's not updated. My bad. <laughs> no, he should be up by like four. Or three or four. Yeah, I don't think it's been updated yet on the forum. That's annoying. Um, <laughs> yeah, Aaron's winning by four points. So, that should not be uh, three points. My bad. Yeah, so three points. Uh, try to find who's on a lap. Aaron is on a lap, so... Pull him around. He's coming through this wonderful sector one, which, in my completely unbiased view, is amazing. Totally sweeping, unbiased. sweeping left and right corners. Looks fairly controlled from Mirren. Doesn't look like he's pushing it that much. Although that might just be his driving style. Uh, 32.5 first sector. Winds it up through the uh, through the Degners. And now towards a hairpin. Possibly one of the best overtaking spots in the race. He's got a car ahead of him. Which shouldn't hold him up. Now up towards a spoon curve, there's a yellow flag in sector two, so somebody's had an off somewhere. That's Miles. <laughs> you said that with no surprise in your voice. <laughs> I, I was actually on board with him. <laughs> ah. <laughs> you said that so casually. Okay, towards the se end of the second sector for Aaron. Uh, roughly about 40 seconds, I think, is his middle sector time. He's got, I think that's actually just Josh just in front of him, but Josh shouldn't, I don't think he's close enough to have held him up. Aaron heads towards the line, and Venom, I think, has crashed. <laughs> As Aaron goes quickest on a 129.3. No, he Venom. He just gave up. Oh, he just retired. He's got all four points Mr. I P's... think Hague is on the softs. Yes. He is. Mr. P's gone second. It looks like Clyde is going to slot into third. Neither driver particularly close to Aaron, it has to be said. 
a mile span on his lap, so I won't follow what time he does. Hager's done a 130.0 on soft, so that's a pretty decent lap. Sliding to second place. No, not at all. He just missed out on a podium last week, but I, I would say there's a good chance for him tonight to get onto the podium. What about Simo, Josh's teammate? Josh needs probably a bit more help from his teammate in the constructors' fight with Sauber having up their performances recently, oh. and Simo very nearly beats Siren. 129.3, very close. Yeah, Paul the Veal Ferrari now. Did he just lift off? Yeah, Simo was my favourite tonight. Oh, you well, said you've watched him driving around this track, so have you seen a lot of promising stuff from him? Well, I, I haven't watched him, but he's done. He's he sent that screenshot the other day. He did the same time trial time in sector two like four or five times, and he did it again today. Consistency. <laughs> yes. Consistency wins races. Hard is doing a second. Josh. Well, I know he's not. He's backed off. Hey, uh, sorry, Grumpy went fourth. Josh has backed off. Think he's going to go for another lap now. Yep. There he goes. Yeah, picky and validated, that's probably that's why he might have packed off. Ooh, that might be valid too. Yeah, he's backed yep. off again. <laughs> but <laughs> I mean in terms of I mean this tonight is probably the the best chat the best um the racetrack to uh not qualify on because well you're not gonna be too low down the grid as Mr. Grumpy improves. To go up to third on a 129.6 on his second lap on those tyres. And both Sauber's in the top three again. Feels like deja vu. But Josh. Oh, uh, well, here, Josh back top, didn't he? LFC for life's on an outlap. He hasn't got his uh, best friend. Sector three, no? Yeah, he hasn't got his best friend Dave here tonight, who he pretty much followed throughout the Chinese Grand Prix. Uh, I don't. I don't think he'll know what to do with himself. <laughs> That's good won. to hear, Haig. What's Haig said? He said he has a good feeling in the car. Ah. Well, that, with that soft tire lap time, it definitely backs that up. What can LFC for life do then? They start his lap. A lot of drivers, like you say, are struggling just. Put in a good lap round here. It is a tough track, and if you do go wide, you're often met with gravel or grass, so it's not not just an easy way out if you make a mistake here. It takes so long to clean off the tires too at this track. Yeah, yeah don't jam on the throttle when as soon as you uh, <laughs> as soon as you go come back from a trip trip to the gravel, otherwise you'll find yourself spinning again. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> 32.9 first sector for LSC for life. There's a car ahead that I'm sure will either keep out of the way or just stay ahead. Towards the hairpin. Hits the apex nicely. It's a pretty good drive out the corner. Might be able to use the slipstream here to get a little extra time. Yeah, any advantage you can get, why not? <laughs> Through spoon curb. Oh, he took a bit too much curve there and it kind of flicked his car out wide a bit more than he would have liked. Kind of ruined his momentum up the straight towards 130R. Easy flat in these cars, absolutely no problems. Now towards the final chicane. <laughs> it's looked a decent lap from LFC. Where's he going to go? He goes fifth. 30.7. Not bad. Five miles is coming to the line now to start a lap. Ah. Josh has only just got to the pits. Oh, he might not have enough time. No, that's going to be a race to get back out again. Both, wow. That was synchronized leaving the pits from the Salvers. <laughs> Literally right next to each other. Miles already looks like he's kind of backed off. I don't know what happened when he took the line. It just his car wasn't 
going anywhere. Uh, Mr. P's on the lap. See if he can improve. He's currently six. It's big, big uh, race for Hagen the constructors battle as well because he's Force India are battling Sauber and Ferrari, and there's only one Force India on the grid tonight. So Hague's going to yeah. need to maximise their points as much as possible. Especially with both Salbers and Ferraris looking very quick. Yes, Salbers and Ferraris have pretty much been in class of the field for the last couple of weeks. This is looking like a good lap for Mr. P. Where's he going to put him? He goes up to fourth on a 129.8. Nice lap. On the second row of a grid provisionally. Who is on a lap? Everyone's going very slowly on an out lap. Miles is going pretty Miles slowly. Miles is on a lap. But... Clyde <laughs> might be on a lap. So let's see how he gets on. Currently in P7. The slowest of those who have done representative laps. So the only way is up. don't know if he's improving. He's still pushing, so it suggests oh. he is. That's why he was going slow on that lap. Miles had a this and next and that. Ah. So now he's on a legit lap. I see. Clyde might jump above LFC here, and he does. Up to six for the 130.2. And Josh has not made it out in time, so he's retired. Ah, so the championship contender will only start from P9. With his rival currently on pole. With the many different breaking points for turn one on the start here, Cars might get shuffled and he might pick up a couple spots anyway. Just use furthest into the lap. Uh, right. Let's follow. Let's follow Miles. Miles in sector three, yeah. He hasn't done a representative lap yet, so he'll need to improve if he can. Not the best exit onto the onto the straight, but what's it gonna do for him? He's a, a long way up in his previous best, which is good to hear. <laughs> can he move up from eighth place? I think he might do. Yeah, he goes up to fifth. Nice one. Haig has done a lap on Super Softs and has moved up to third. What about Iren? Can he improve his time? Yes, he can at 129.1. Yes. Is that going to be enough? But still, Mr. Grumpy doesn't improve. I would say probably only Simo can stop him now from claiming his first pole position in what I believe is an incredibly long time. <laughs> Just needs to improve three tenths. Yep, is Steve about to rob Aaron of a, a landmark pole position? Here we go, run up to the line. Is he going to do it? Yes, he is! Yes! Oh! 28-8. Wow. And Aaron's wait for a pole position goes on. He's going to have to make do his second. I don't think he'll mind at that. But, uh, yeah, great lap from Simo. And you backed him and he delivered. Looks like, I think that's everyone's finished their laps now, so Haig will be third, Mr. Grumpy fourth, Miles, good effort in fifth, Mr. P in sixth. Two drivers have not seen terribly high up the order at times, but showing well tonight. Clyde in seventh, LFC eighth. I think Josh will be very unhappy in ninth, but maybe he's still struggling with the uh, illness he's currently got. The, uh, I, think just, I think it's just cold, isn't it? But, uh, does seem to be struggling and Venom didn't do a lap for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. So the airman to the 128. It's a nice lap from Simo. Ah, I see. Looking at, yeah, looking back at the race director, um, looks like um, I think it's Miles had a, a corner cut where he had this and the next lap invalidated. 
so yeah that's a it's not a good one to get <laughs> Venom. This is going to be painful. <laughs> It'll be a fine Venom. All you gotta do is finish the race. If you have to baby it. <laughs> well, we have got rain, of course we have, because I'm here and we all know what that means. It means there's gonna be rain in the race. But do we have wet tires or dry tires? I'm thinking, looking at the rain, I'm gonna guess everyone's probably gonna be on intermediates. Well, there's blue spots in the sky, too, so. Mm. Be very risky to start on dry tires, I reckon. I don't know how wet the track is, though, so. That could be a. I can't really tell on pit road. It doesn't look shiny. Well, this is a big chance for him to get even more points ahead of Josh. With Josh down in nine. Let's see what they can do. Five lights. Yeah, Everyone's on intermediates. And we're underway for a Japanese Grand Prix. Round eight of a championship. It looks like a good start from Simo. Irwin didn't get the best launch. He's under a bit of pressure from Haig. They're going to turn one. Haig slid off. Oh, no. Oh, and they're all going off. They're all going. None of them can slow the car down. I think the conditions are very oh. awkward. Oh, and LFC has left. And Simo leads Mr. Grumpy, Irwin's third, Josh is up to fourth from ninth. <laughs> Venom's up to fifth from ten. <laughs> well, they start seven positions apart and now the two championship rivals are right next to each other. And it's Sauber versus Ferrari in the front, it's akin to this today's British Grand Prix where it was Ferrari and Mercedes that were fighting for the victory. But there's a long way to go, and well, if turn one's open to go by, that's not going to be an easy corner. <laughs> It'll break into hairpin, there's about a million different lines you can take for that hairpin, really, but Grumpy having a look at passing Simo. Grumpy has wing damage, too. I think LFC might have had a connection issue. Yeah. He, uh, he's rejoined. Oh, and Simo has to go defensive, and that's going to bunch both Salbers right up behind him. Oh, Josh making them look. Oh, nope. Aaron made a bit of an error, I think. And Josh is right behind him, so one Sauber is right behind the Ferrari, but then on the other side of the coin, a Sauber's defending from a Ferrari. Is anyone going to dare try and move into a chicane, I wonder? It's like Grumpy stay behind for now. Yeah, Josh and Venom have had stunning starts. They've both moved up five places. Wow. <laughs> so. I just had a tragic final corner there. <laughs> oh, and how are we going to fare at turn one this time? Simo went a little wide. But I think Grumpy doesn't really have the opportunity to get through. And it's pretty much single file through here. Unless you make a mistake and Grumpy is looking to the inside of... Simo, that's a fantastic overtake. Simo looked a bit out of shape. And Grumpy took advantage and now leads the Grand Prix. Oh, and Simo goes wide again. And he could lose another position to Irwin. This is crucial for the championship. And Simo potentially, I think, knows that and goes, well, that was defensive and half. <laughs> I've never seen anyone go defensive into the Degmas. <laughs> oh, and Venom. Venom and Josh are side by side. Oh, but Josh has outbraked himself and hit Aaron. Oh. Ooh. I'm sure he's going to have an end plate missing after that. Oh, yeah, I saw a couple go flying. Yeah, so Josh there. Uh, struggling a bit, Aaron. Meanwhile, Grumpy has pulled out a three second lead. Simo is really struggling. Something tells me some of them have a dry setup, like it's gonna stop raining halfway through the race. Yeah, it could be two very different races almost. Irwin is going to the inside. Josh is now being passed by Haig, but we'll see if Irwin can get the move done. Through 130R side by too. side. Oh! And Josh is down to P6. Oh, and I think Venom might have lost some end plates as well, because he just hit the back of Irwin too.
Are you, get, are you getting a feeling then that Mr. Grumpy might, may potentially have a wet setup on? <laughs> Uh, maybe. <laughs> Carter looks like it's hitting pretty well. Oh, and Hager's got past Venom. And Josh has had to pay it yet with that, um, with that damage he has pitted for a new set of intermediates. And Josh also did well coming out to the pits that day. Um, who was it? One of the guys was trying to pass him and he let him go before he could throw it down into the pits. Well, uh, FC, I think, has uh, left the session. Not really sure why, because he's guaranteed points just for finishing. Maybe he's still having internet issues. Yeah, I think um, he's still having. That's a shame to hear. Hopefully, he can rejoin and just collect in if it's one or two points. Better than nothing. Higgs looking pretty racy behind here, and I think for, I think they can all go a little bit quicker than Simo, but they're just struggling to overtake him. It looks like Simo may potentially have got a bit more used to his conditions now because he really struggled on lap two but he seems to be coping a little better now but they all seem to be bunched up behind him from sort of second down to almost seventh really and is he in close enough here now he lifts off through 130R and I can't say I blame him Try into turn one. I mean, this. Simo's, Simo's been going wide in turn one, so if Aaron could keep it <laughs> stuck on the inside. Yeah, and this is a key key battle, really, because Josh will need some help from his teammate today, for sure. Not so costly that he grumps past, but uh, you definitely want to let Aaron through. See how tentative that they're all going here for his first sector. They, their setups do not look attuned to this track at all. Oh, also yeah, Grumpy. Back end is everywhere. Yeah, I think Grumpy made a slight error because he's lost about just over a second to Simo. That gap's kind of gone down a little bit. Aaron gonna have a look into the hairpin now. He lifts off pretty early, actually. Gotta be careful because Hague isn't too far behind him. What can Aaron do this time? I think he's potentially waiting for maybe turn one, might you say, or maybe the last chicane if he gets a good run on Simo here. See, he's coming down the uh, back straight now. He's got looking to have a good run on Simo. How brave is he going to be for 130R? Not as brave as Simo, uh, who Simo I think was it. too brave. Oh, oh no. and he's hit, he's hit Haig. He came back across the track and hit Haig, and Venom's gone completely over the, the corner. It's, it's pretty much mayhem here. Haig is going to have to pit. Yeah. Oh, and. Well, we mentioned how much Simo was struggling. There was a sense of inevitab inevitability about that, if I can say the word. <laughs> and Simo gets a pen at five seconds stop go for speeding in the pit lanes if he needed any more bad luck. Mr. P now is battling for a podium. He's up to fourth. Clyde in fifth. I mean, these are, these are probably two drivers we don't see very often at this sort of sharp end of the field. But with the conditions and their figures going off, there's a real opportunity for drivers tonight who potentially wouldn't always be up there. Gotta say that, I, I'm not only my bad luck charm for the rain, it looks at the moment like I'm a good luck charm for Sauber because they've both been on a podium for the last sort of two races and it's looking good for a third race at the moment because they're, they're one and two and they've got a good buffer but. As you've seen, these conditions can catch out anybody. Simo looked really consistent, didn't he, with that dry setup, but it's clearly not a setup that works in these conditions. Not at all. 
So I put a look at the Drivers' Championship actually just to see um, potential good results here for some of us that. Uh, LLC is in the chat and it says he can come back into the lobby but it makes him spectate instead of going into his car. Uh, I think it happens sometimes. It's really unfortunate and it's not ideal at all. I'm really lucky for LLC. Maybe he'll get awarded the point. I think, I think that would be fair considering the circumstances, but we'll see. Oh, Miles has a huge moment for 130R. And Josh is oh. trying to overtake him. Oh, Miles has kept his nose in there, but Josh, I think, has got the move done, and Miles is pitting. Is it, what are they pitting for? I assume it's another set of intermediates, yeah. Haig's back in the pits for another set of intermediates. Has he had more from wing damage, I wonder? And another wing, yeah. Oh, Unless dear. they didn't change his wing the first time. That's that's also a possibility because he was really close to the pits, wasn't he? Yeah. So he, may not he lost the full to... wing. Even auto should have replaced oh. him. Oh. But in that case, then I don't know. Maybe he has had more damage. That is a an interesting one. Well, Josh and Simo are back up to 6th and 7th despite their dramas. <laughs> but they are a long way. The top 5 are in a different race now. Oh, so they have to pit again. Oh, there's the yellow flag in sector one. Miles has hit the wall and has lost yet more front wing. I think he just went in for a front wing. <laughs> and now he's got to do the whole lap again. So that was really unfortunate. Irwin, I think he's starting to close down Grumps. And I doubt we'll be team orders at Sauber because they're sort of in their own race. They can afford to battle, really, as long as they're, they're sensible. And I, I don't think they wouldn't be. Potentially could be some battling going on for fourth. Mr. P having to defend against Clyde. Mr. P struggling with the back end of the car, but I think everybody is in these conditions. I tend to like to stay on board of them in, in these conditions because I don't know, it's like to see how much they're fighting the car. You don't always get that perspective from the broadcast view. So it's. Uh, But this is probably this is definitely the closest battle on track at the moment, a battle for fourth. Oh, and Kai took an auto curve over the one. Oh, doesn't want to be a. Uh... See a lot of comments in the chat. <laughs> well, I was typing to LLC. Ah, okay. Miles is back in the pits again after that uh, crash through sector one. Yeah, I mean, just to look at, I'm just looking at like some of the drivers here, like third place Venom, you know, has only got one point in the championship from what I can see. I, I don't know if he scored in the last round, I can't quite remember. So. But even so, he's not scored many points and he's currently in third place. Mr. P has yet to score a point this season, he's in fourth. And Clyde has only got, I'd say, about 9-10 points to his name as well, so... Oh, and he goes wide! Oh, and he's got a, uh, one of those idiotic stop-go penalties for exceeding track limits. When... It's about to serve it right now. <laughs> yeah, Mr. P's now got a penalty as well, so he's also going... Miles is on super softs. What do you make to that decision? <laughs> oh, well, he's about to go spinning right now. He's drifting. <laughs> Yeah, I do not think it's ready to he, he might need to he's got Irin just behind him, so he might need to get out of the way. <laughs> I don't think he should be trying to drive on super softs in oh, front of a car. Crash. Yeah. Uh, Miles, this is a little bit silly to be honest. I think he should be getting out of the way. Oh, to be fair, that car is handling a lot better than it was on the Inters. <laughs> yeah, well, as you were saying. Not <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that's a rough turn to begin with. <laughs> well, Erin, I think, will be glad he got through, and that's exactly why. 
Because that could have easily happened with her next to him, couldn't it? <laughs> well, Japan is a house of horrors for some people. This is definitely a race of attrition. Um, Josh now with Mr. P and Clyde pitting is now up to fifth and he's right behind Mr. P. So Josh can find himself back up to fourth place. That's, um, that's, that's just how ridiculous this race is. <laughs> Sum it up, we're on lap 8 and 4th place is 34 seconds off the lead. <laughs> I mean, you don't get that ever anywhere. <laughs> oh, Mr. P's had a big that's... moment! He saved it though. He did, I but know. that's gonna surely leave him oh. open to oh, the attack a bit, Josh. Too. Yeah. Josh has got past him, thankfully, so there shouldn't be any issues there. Venom has pitted, which means the only two drivers I think that haven't stopped. Of the two leaders there. Yeah. So. I don't know how long the intermediate's last round here. I mean, I assume Venom may have got his front wing changed. I don't know though. He's going to rejoin him third. Ahead of Josh. So as it stands, if my... Uh, I think Iren would have currently, as it stands, a, uh, I think it's an eight point lead going into the next Grand Prix next weekend, which it is Singapore. <laughs> I couldn't quite read that flag on the standing. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, I mean, we're talking about a race of attrition. I mean, Singapore is not too far from that either. <laughs> nope. So, uh, and if. And it could be, I think I'll be commentating on that, and of course you know that that means, it means it means a wet race, so. <laughs> yes. The hairpin at Singapore is pretty rough in the rain, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's not easy. I commented on Singapore wet race not too long ago, and uh, just watching, it was a really talented group of drivers as well, and they were just having oversteer through every corner. It was really Great grumpies tough. in the pits. Ah, so it's going for pits here and carries on. But the sort of laps they're pitting on, it makes you think it is going to get dry before the end of the race. Well, the sky's getting brighter a little bit. Otherwise, they're going to have to take the second set of intermediates a lot further than the first. I don't think it's the optimum strategy. Grumpy rejoins comfortably ahead of Venom. And also just ahead of the uh, dry tyre car of Miles, who is... Who is still braving out on the dry tyres, but I don't really think it's working for him. Simo is uh, close to close to Clyde now for six. You'd suspect the Simo would be quicker, but I don't think he's enjoying these conditions. So let's see how much he's struggling still, just to get the power down. Up, he might be the cover of the car to beat. So. He but might. Have to make a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, main priority now is probably just to keep it in a straight line and <laughs> minimise how much time he'll lose be before it gets dry, if it does get dry, of course. I would expect Iron perhaps to carry the intermediates a little bit further. He's got nothing to lose and. Really, and he could potentially gain from it later on if it doesn't get dry, so... I mean, he's going to comfortably come out in second place. Head of Venom, he's got that sort of buffer, so... There's no worries there. Oh, and Josh pits. This is his second pit stop. He's got a front wing, so... You can only assume that... Well, looks like he's got a new set of inters. But he hasn't been on nose that long, has he? 
Uh, he had the wing damage like lap three or four. So only seven mm -hmm. left. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's a strange one. Oh, he's Miles. And he's gonna rejoin just to put. I just had a Hague. Seven. Still see most behind Clyde. Oh, Miles saved it. He just had another moment <laughs> and got out away from Venom. Seema's not a bad GG. person to watch for moments either. He, um, very clear setup is not suiting his conditions, and he's having moments pretty much all the way around the lap. <laughs> No. Oh. Is that Miles? Miles just took out Mr. Oh. T. Oh no. I don't think Mr. P would be happy with that at all. He was having a great race as Aaron Pitts. Yeah, I could clip that if they need it for the storage office. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I didn't see it. So. I was on board with Miles when it happened. Is it one of those where he lost it and Mr. P was sort of in the wrong place at the wrong time? No, Miles got out of the way for one of the cars, let him by, and Mr. P came up right behind him and slowed down. And then he went to pass Miles and Miles moved over like he was trying to get out of the way, but Mr. P was right there. Ah. Uh. The yeah, Aaron's rejoined in P2. He's got a six second gap. His teammate, but he will have pressure into us. Mr. P coming in to replace his wing. Ah, oh, so lucky he's done a good race so far, Mr. P. Now he's got that penalty to serve as well, so he's going to drop right down to eighth, which is unfortunate. I was yell flagging set to one. Oh, Simo's out! Simo. Fourth. I mean, instinctively, I went straight to Miles, but <laughs> it was actually Simo. And wow, that's an end to the Ferrari's race. That's a big crash by the looks of it. Looks like he's lost it through that left right complex with Sector 1. I mean, I can say it's no great surprise because that car has looked like a crash waiting to happen all, all night so far, hasn't it? Yeah. But that's unfortunate for Seema. I think if it had been a dry race, he'd have been right up there. Maybe he thought it would have got dry faster. Yeah. I suppose many. I suppose drivers won't really practice in the wet as well, so you won't really know how bad your setup was going to be in the wet until you faced a risk situation. So, so we're on lap 13 now, and Mr. Grumpy leads by 5.6 seconds as Mars gets what feels like he's <laughs> met. Well, that that's an interesting line. <laughs> he's he's going to get this call, so eventually. Yeah, I'm interested to see a race director. If you quickly look at a race director and just see the penalties right now, because I'm interested to see who's got what. I'll take a few, so you don't have to cover up the stream. Yeah, I don't think there's much on track action in the Josh sets a past this lap. Still 10 seconds. That last, on that last lap, Miles had two penalties and three warnings. Wow, um, I'm, I'm interested to follow him now just to see what he, what's he doing. <laughs> oh, he's cutting corners because the tires have no grip going into like the chicane mm -hmm. corners. And he's just going straight through them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't really understand why he's staying out of the super softs because it's just a few mats. <laughs> At this point, it's not even going to gain you anything, and if it does go dry now. <laughs> oh, and he's he's just about made the hairpin. <laughs> well, since lap 8, Miles is the only one to collect the penalty. And he's, yeah. He's got ah. 22 seconds already. Aaron's starting to close in on Grumps, gap down to four and a half seconds, so he's getting his new entries to work and could maybe see a battle between the two salvers later on. And Josh with a fast lap to race. Yep. He's uh, showing some good pace now, Josh. 
I thought Aaron is um. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh Jesus. Mars has got yet another penalty. All right, I was on board with him for that one. He barely went off the track. He went yeah, wide he... to the right in the left hander. He gets some of those in these conditions. I don't. They're a bit silly, really. I feel. I feel like something co-masters should do. I don't know what your thoughts would be on this, but I feel like they should adjust the corner cutting systems for dry and wet races at each track. Yeah, a little more forgivable in the rain. Yeah, because by the time you see someone slide over a curb, I wouldn't even say it's much of a corner cut and they get like a 10 second penalty. It's like, oh really? <laughs> well, my race yesterday, I clipped the inside curb in turn one and like drifted around and he gave me a 3 second penalty without a warning. Like, wow. Okay. <laughs> it's like I don't know how to improve my time, but shout out to Venom is having a very solid drive in P3, comfortably ahead of Clyde. We just picked up a penalty. As I say that. Um, they're they're gonna have to take that penalty off Clyde. What was it for? For going around miles. <laughs> ah. Okay. Point taken. <laughs> oh, and. I feel, like I, I feel like I should just stay on board in miles because it literally is where most of entertainment's happening. Irwin's closed down to three and a half seconds now to Grumps. So hopefully that'll turn to a battle at some point. Who's who's the next car to catch up to uh, Miles? It's Josh. So <laughs> beware. He's also not catching him at the best place because he's about to go through the most terrifying corner on the track. And, well. <laughs> it's another penalty. Surely he's got to be close to it. How many he, penalties? he can make like five more pit stops and he still won't catch up to the stop those. You can see clearly he's doing this for the point. <laughs> oh, any other week he already gave up. See, hopefully Josh can get by Mars okay, and Haig isn't too far behind Josh as well. And they're coming through the for one. Miles looks like he's getting out of the way. way. But there is another car on its way. <laughs> Haig looks and, like... You know, when Mr. P gets three plan flashbacks. Yeah. <laughs> if I know, not you again. Oh, uh, Mars is taking an interesting line. He's <laughs> got out of Hague's way by a bit of gravel route. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you gotta make your own racing line, right? Oh, there he goes. Spin. Oh. <laughs> That's the front wing gone again. Yep. And Mr. P's catching up though. <laughs> Might get to the pits before that. Oh, well, Mr. P's sake, hopefully. Oh, to be fair, Mr. P's not in line to lose um, any positions because. Oh, yeah. See, this is how much Mars is struggling. He's behind the ghost car. <laughs> well, he's two laps behind the ghost car, you think? <laughs> yeah. Oh no, never mind. Yeah, he's just he's just on, he's on the same lap, um, but even so, that's not uh, <laughs> that's not good. Just pit for intermediates, please, Miles. <laughs> the trouble is now, but right. even if it did go dry now, he's probably burnt out of those super softs. Oh yeah, you have to pit again. Watch him so. put softs on this time. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, he's pitting. Right, hopefully, he hopefully back onto the intermediates, because I, I just think that's the... I mean, he's not, he's not really fighting for position now, so he might as well go on the right tyre. And not risk potentially ruining any more driver's races. It's <laughs> supers again. <laughs> oh. I, I'll not say anything. <laughs> or is it? I don't, wait, what? Is there like a glitchy thing going on here? Is suit on its... What? This game can't decide what tire is on. Oh, it is super. Okay. Not saying anything right. There's a, there could be a battle at the front here because Irin is 
less than two seconds now behind Mr. Grumpy. He's been reeling him in since he made his pit stop. And I hope that Grumpy doesn't make it too easy for him because I want to see a battle. Because I mean, been following Miles for a few hours, which tells you the entertainment value of this race at the moment isn't at a high. <laughs> I don't think Grumpy will want to give his position up though, he's in line for a victory here and that will be a superb result. And I think with Blue Mosquito absent this evening, I think it is becoming a two-way championship battle now between him and, and Josh. So. Hague's on pit. Yeah, Hague pitting. Please don't go on super subs. <laughs> oh, enters. No, just to change him from wing. Excuse me. I think that's his third wing in the race. Yeah, and he rejoins and he's still comfortably in P6, so no harm lost there. Yeah. I think Josh is closing yeah, at this in point. At this point, it's just getting it to the end safely, no matter how many stops or tires you need. Well, he came out right for a Mr. P. Oh, definitely. Josh is close right up to collide, in fact, so there could be a changing position here for people. Aaron's a man on a mission. 1.4 now. Yeah, you're in 1.4 off. Oh, Venom's pitting. From third place, he'll drop down below Clyde and Josh, who I think are battling. Yeah. What's he going on to? Don't think his track's ready for dries, so yeah, it's just straight on to intermediates again. Oh, and... Clyde's pitting, so there's no battle there. Josh is safely through to fourth, which will become third. So after everything that's happened to Josh, he's literally one place below here. <laughs> after everything, although there is a 31 second gap. <laughs> I I do think... Yeah, never mind. I mean, Aaron don't have to pit anymore because he's pitting at halfway, so... Yeah, that's potentially something. Grumpy might struggle on his tyres towards the end and they have to pit again, so... I think Kieran's in the best shout chance to win this Grand Prix. Would be his fourth win of the season. He's the only driver in this league to have won more than once. We have five different winners, of course. Miles in AI mode in front of the leader. Oh, yeah. But Miles is an AI. Did he, did he leave? Oh, AI is when you pause the game. Ah. I just got another penalty. How do you get, <laughs> how do you get a penalty with a computer <laughs> control in your car? I think I just used to give him Mars penalties at this point, so it's just it's on automatic. <laughs> Mr. Grumpy Pit, it's, so Aaron takes oh, the lead. There you go, the CPU is controlling Miles, he's coming in for interest. And he got oh, speeding up Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Mr. Grumpy Pits for what I see. Oh, he's putting out softs. I get a feeling Miles isn't going to be very popular with his fellow drivers after this race. No. I know, I know oh, Mr. P is going to be really irritated. And on the roulette wheel of who gets a speeding in the pit lane penalty this time, it's Josh as he pits. Or do you set of intermediates and he'll drop back? Well, he may. Will he come out in front of Clyde? It's gonna be close. I think he's gonna do it. Yep, Josh has come out in fourth place ahead of Clyde. I think probably everyone's made all the stops they need to make now, or the. You never know with front wings and stuff. We also need to pit him. With that in mind, Aaron is. 
quite comfortably on course for a fourth win of the season and strengthen his grip on the championship which if things stay as yeah, they well, are got to be up to 12 a points what a 21 second lead he might as well just put the car in lean the rest of the race and save the tires yep Aaron's been in this position many times before he knows what it takes and he, he oh, yeah. uh, I'd be shocked if he made a mistake from here on in but a few things have shot me this way. In fact, Aaron's pitting. Well, that's interesting. For supers? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to say it's immediate, but nothing would surprise me at this point. <laughs> that is intermediate. I'm surprised he pitted. Maybe he do he re, he, I mean, he pinned on lap 12, so he would have had to do 15 laps. Maybe he didn't think it was worth the risk. He came out right behind Grumpy. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what the <laughs> interval was before the Grumpy pit. <laughs> well, if Grumpy did manage to hold on and win this race, he would be the sixth winner in eight races. So. That would um, that'd be quite something. That's right, Aaron's the only repeat winner. Yeah, three wins to his name. It's Josh's consistency, really, that's kept him in the hunt over... I don't know, I mean, he had a poor result in Spain, and it's not going great from here either, so he's not in the best form at the moment, as he gets safely past Miles, thank God. <laughs> Miles Clyde is AI mode, isn't it? Oh, yeah. No, no, he's driving there. No. <laughs> so, yeah, we're back to Clyde then. Clyde, you are next. <laughs> I mean, while Miles is doing that, his teammate is, uh, is looking at a brilliant result in third, so. Fair play. At least Haas have got something to celebrate. <laughs> yeah, it's a good day for Haas. They had one point coming into this race, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, makes up for what happened at IRL today in the first corner for them. Aaron <laughs> <laughs> is in DRS range if, of course, DRS was active, which it is not. But he's within a second. Mr. Grumpy for the lead. I. Unless they have a huge crash, this I don't see them losing this one too. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, this will be their third double podium in a row. Yep. In terms of podium interviews, I've been going through my head for a little while. I'm not going to lie, there isn't. I'm not sure what to ask them really because this hasn't been. <laughs> yeah, there's yeah. nothing new to ask. It's the same people every week. Yeah. Hopefully they'll have a battle. Maybe a little, maybe a little bit of contact, just to uh, spice it up a bit. <laughs> and before the race, we were in a practice lobby, and the top three were all in that lobby. <laughs> well, Venom's definitely a new one into the podium, but these two have, well, been here multiple times oh, this season. Oh, Yellow Sucker won. There it is, is Miles it? is done. Miles has crashed, and it, after 21 laps of... <laughs> I can't well, think of a for word. Him it was like 19. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> um, I don't even know what that was, but he he hasn't. He's oh. failed in his objective. He, he's left the session, and quite There's frankly, ten second penalty. <laughs> quite frankly, that's that, that's just 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 a terrible day at the office for him. To go with well, he has yet to pick up a point this season, which. Tells its own story, really. Back to the front. This is the only real close battle on track at the moment, unless there's any more dramas. Don't be too harsh on the uh, guy, but I get the feeling when Mars retired, there was a collective sigh of relief from the remaining races. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Especially Mr. P. <laughs> Um, oh, Mr. P has enough time to go clip his video now and come back and still be in seventh. 
Yeah, yeah, I mean, why not? <laughs> Mr. Grumpy and Aaron don't can't afford that luxury because they are well half a second apart right now, and this could be the battle we've been waiting for. Can Aaron claim his fourth victory season? Can Grumpy claim his first? Whatever happens, Manisha Carlton Bourne will just be hoping that it does not end in tears. was about DRS being active and most probably with such stream glitch in effect as well. It's not going to be easy for Aaron. Well, Aaron is a little bit faster than Grumpy because he was catching him before the last pit stop and now he has fresher tires, so he could bank on that, hopefully, to catch him. Absolutely. He really must not have felt confident on those last set because he didn't... Um, he didn't dare stay out of them for the rest of the race, even with a comfortable lead. Yeah, I feel Japan is a track you want fresh rubber all, at all times. Yeah, Sector 1 in particular. This isn't the sector where you want loads of understeer. Or oversteer for that matter. Well, I'm broadcast for you for a little bit. Bit of a change. What can Aaron do? I'll be right back. Alright. So, I'm at 23, a quick overview of the order. Grumpy leads Aaron second, Venom in third, Bow in a face, Josh in fourth, Fide in fifth, Warren Hagen sixth, Mr. P in seventh, LFC for life it has been. An AI since the early stages due to internet and game issues. So it's just the seven cars remaining on track that uh, are still being driven by you know, non AI people. <laughs> and it, this is probably the only close battle on the racetrack at the moment. All the rest of the field pretty spread out of all the incidents that have gone off. But these two, the Salvage pair, as close as ever. Can Aaron find a way through? There's just over four laps to go. Is Aaron close enough to think about to moving to turn one? No, he's not. There's huge pressure for Mr. Grumpy. Just wondering, could you uh, check see if we had either of front to our penalties? Sure thing. I don't think they do, but... Grumpy has two warnings. Aaron has a clean sheet. Ah. Uh, I think is it... Is so it, next one. Yeah. So not only has got Grumpy got pressure from a previous PSGL champion, he's also got pressure in terms of he can't afford another warning. It's going to be pulling I think they're only, two that, they're only two that didn't speed on pit road as well. Yeah. Fair play to him. Great, great stuff. Um, Grumpy's pulled out a little bit of an advantage again. Don't want to know like Aaron's in full attack mode. <laughs> Haig is closing on Clyde a bit, I've noticed, but uh, I think he would take a huge mistake from Clyde for Haig to have a chance of fifth place now. I don't know what their tyre li life is like. Those two. Oh, and Aaron's sliding through turn one, turn two, but no issues there. Got on the throttle nicely.
Maybe Iram was just cooling the tyres off there on that last lap, just give himself a bit of a breathing space before our next another attack. On the last lap, it looked like he lost four tenths of a second in the corner before the hairpin. Yeah. This corner here. Yeah. Uh, and Josh gets Josh. another penalty. Yeah, it shouldn't affect him, he's comfortably ahead of Clyde. so close he can taste his first win of a season but is it going to be like twisting the tail for him? I don't want that victory. Oh but oh, a bit sideways wow. there. I thought Good that, control. <laughs> yeah I thought that was going to be a spin fear in there. That would have taken the pressure off. Yeah, he didn't even lose any time either. <laughs> no. <laughs> No respite from it at all. Credit to Grumpy though, he's not making any mistakes. Two that's laps easy. to go. Yep. Yeah, he's not making any mistakes, that's easy to do even if you haven't got pressure from behind in this race. It's coming up on lap car. Might be uh, LC's ghost, at least. Yeah. It's not Miles, no worries there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a ghost car, no worries there. I think. I don't know what the gap is. What's Yeah, Mr. P is the closest to being lapped, but I don't think he'll get lapped before the end. Unless he uh, makes a mistake. And the ghost car goes off the track. <laughs> Uh, it's normal. Yeah, that's what happened to Miles earlier when somebody went to pass him when he was in the AI mode and got the three second penalty. <laughs> he just kept getting penalties no matter what he did. <laughs> <laughs> he even went the computer pit for him. They still put on tri tires. <laughs> Oh, Aaron slid through that same corner again. Yep. Just prevents him from having the run he would like. To 130R. Maybe a slight lift there. No the confidence to go flat, and can't say I blame him. One lap to go. Can Grumpy hold on and take? His first F4 win of the season. His teammate and championship leader right there behind him. Just like, ducking out the slits through, I think, letting him know that he's there. <laughs> Don't think Grumpy needs reminding. <laughs> They're very close. It starts next to one, but there's no way through here unless there's a mistake. I. I want to say, I don't Ooh. think Aaron will try to pass him. But he keeps getting closer. <laughs> yeah, I get the feeling Aaron would have backed off if he, uh, if he wasn't planning to try and get past. <laughs> I think he'll want those extra four points for his championship. And just to win another race, I think he's... That's true. Gotta get the points while you can. Oh, he's going for a different line for the hairpin. It doesn't really make much of a difference. If anything, Grumpy got a slightly better, better exit. This is I the bet key. You they're actually in a party together with a little banter. <laughs> <laughs> this is the key moment. Exit of Spoon Curve. A corner that Aaron has not enjoyed in the last couple of laps. That's probably his best run through there yet. So if there is an opportunity, it's now. And Grumpy it's... looked like he got off there good too. Yep, yeah, he's gonna get closer. How brave is Aaron gonna be for 130R? It's pretty brave, but is, is he gonna be close oh. enough to try into the last chicane? I don't think he is. He's going for a good exit, but I think Grumpy's gonna hold on. It's a really close ending to a Japanese Grand Prix, but Mr. Grumpy takes his first win of the season ahead of teammate Aaron, who maintains, in fact, increases championship lead. 
and well, fair play to Musical Venom who takes a brilliant podium after not a brilliant season. So this will be a welcome relief to him. I might want to ask him in the interviews. <laughs> um, he said <laughs> in the chat before the race, this is going to be a nightmare. <laughs> Josh takes fourth. It's consolidated. Well, it's, a, it's sort of. I think he just sort of rescued that in the end. Not too many points lost, but uh, he's uh, even starts to gain advantage. Oh, Clyde takes fifth. Hager's literally nothing left on his tires, but he takes six. And Mr. P is Almost. quite a, a long way behind. I'll, I think I'll do podium in twos. I don't think they'll be quite as lengthy as usual, though, because there isn't really an awful lot to discuss. <laughs> but we'll uh, ask a few questions. But, def but definitely it'd be interesting to hear if uh, Iran ever if Iran was planning to get past or not. Unlucky for Mr. P, he's driven driven well tonight. Could have been a lot higher if it wasn't for instantly miles, but he takes seven. Still solid points. And there we go. That's I wouldn't say that was edge of your seat thrilling, but it certainly had its moments. <laughs> Let's see, how many seconds of penalties will Miles have? I say 46. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sauber will be delighted. They're really on form at the moment. And that's 40. a 1 2 for them. 40. Wow. Credit to the top three, they're the only ones without penalties. That is true. So, yeah. Well deserving of a top three. Fastest lap went to Haig at least. I'm assuming when those tyres were a little bit more alive than what they were in the last lap. <laughs> and we'll get the podium finishes into the, the chat because why not? All free invited. <laughs> yeah, that's possibly You're one right, of the. Guys? Yeah, not bad. That's possibly one of the weirdest races I've ever commentated on. <laughs> 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 Not an awful lot to ask, but I'll find some questions from somewhere, I'm sure. And just wait for Venom to join, and if he does, and then... Um, I'm, I'm not even going to ask you about the party settings, because you both have been here, well, you're almost a resident now. So, I'll, uh, I'll just get straight on to it then. Um, congratulations, Mr. Grumpy. Fantastic win. How, uh, what you, how are you feeling after that one? It was a close run thing at the end. I know it's a depleted grid, but still to win great feeling, especially after some wind damage from the first turn. I didn't even bother changing the wind as well. Just, yeah, it ran me hard at the end, but yeah, felt comfortable. Was there any team orders you were aware of between yourself and Iran, or was that a, a well, fight that you won fairly? Yeah, won, won it fairly, there were no team orders. And like you say, a depleted grid, but uh, still to beat the likes of Aaron and Josh in these kind of conditions, you've got to take a lot of confidence from that. Yeah, definitely. I'm confident in the wet usually anyway, yeah. We, um, um. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we noticed that uh, Miles was having a few issues on the uh, dry tyres in these conditions. Um, did you have any issues <laughs> when lapping him? <laughs> 
um, briefly when he came out of the pits, that thought it was, it was contact on my rear right tire, I thought I was going to go around, but luckily I didn't. <laughs> yeah, apart from that, it's fine. Oh, <laughs> good to hear. Well done again on the win. We'll move on Cheers. to your teammate, Irin, who took second. How are your thoughts after that one? Not many people here, but important to keep that lead over Josh in the Drivers' Championship. Yeah, um, I have to say I'm delighted with that race. I'm happy that you know myself and Grumps got a got a one-two for the team. So it's massive points um, coming home for Sauber. So you know, it's it strengthens our hold in the uh, constructors' championship. Um, I thought the start of the race was very tricky. I outbraked myself a little bit on the first um, corner on the first lap and went on the curb slightly, and that sent me a bit sideways. And unfortunately, my teammate picked up a little bit of damage in that but um you know credit to him for the way he drove today he was you know probably the best driver out there in those conditions and he just kept it solid to drive a, a full race without changing his wing and just holding off holding me off towards the end that was um you know something something special i think the grumps of old is is back and you know he was he's down after singer um silverstone but he's definitely um ramped it up and he's got some podiums for the team and now he's He's just won a race on, on pure merit, so good good points for him, good points for the team, and um, also shout out to, to Venom as well, who drove incredibly well on his return, and you know, great podium for him. Ah, and uh, I imagine Manisha must have been incredibly nervous at the end. Were you uh, were you thinking about making a move on the last lap? Well, I was in constant communications with Grumps, and I said, you know. I'm, I'm pushing you hard, I'm going to push you hard because, you know, if he does, you know, if he was to go on and pick the win, you know, pick up the win, it would feel, you know, a little bit more special to him. So, you know, I ran him hard and, yeah, couldn't find a way fast. <laughs> oh, well done again on the one-two. And uh, move on to Venom, who took third place. Very good driving in the Haas and uh, first real amazing result of the season. How are you feeling after that? Yeah, pretty pretty good. Unexpected result, to be honest with you. Um, I, I did a wet setup for Quali, and after about half a lap, my first flying lap, I was like, "Yeah, that's not going to happen." So I just retired from qualifying, and and it was a good decision because there was a lot of people sliding wide at turn one, picked up a ton of positions there, and then um, a few big bad problems. Had a little bout of Haig early on, but he was clearly faster, so I thought it's no point destroying my tyres, giving the tyre wear, so I let him go. And then they had, uh, well, I saw the, the, the incident between Shimo and Haig, which put me up to third. And then after that, Saubers were far too quick for me. So I just did my own race from there. And it was you know, not particularly fast, but it was nice and smooth and brought the car home. So, yeah, good podium, to be honest. Uh, not, I mean, partly, of course, because of the low turnout tonight for various reasons. But, yeah, you got to you know, race what's in front of you and get the result if you can. Yeah, it looks like a pretty lonely race for you. Um, we noticed your teammate had a pretty interesting race um what did you make of that and did you have any issues with him yeah i was, I was um i was disappointed that he could we couldn't get it as a double point score for Haas because that was you know more or less an open goal to do so given that there's only 10 drivers but yeah you know miles is quick he just needs to find some consistency and just you know be a little bit less of a headless chicken on track sometimes because you know he's got the speeds i mean he there's been plenty of times where he's qualified nearly towards the front two rows of the grid in the past, but then he's just, you know, lost it in the, in the races for silly mistakes. But, you know, you can learn from that, I'm sure. But, uh, yeah, it's hopefully we can both start scoring points. That'd be brilliant. And just lastly, going forward to Singapore, what are your thoughts on that track and how well do you think you can do there? Uh, that, is that for me? Yeah, well, I suppose everyone, but I'll start with you. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, sure. Uh, well, Singapore um, was isn't has, isn't actually that good a track for me, but it was the site of probably one of my best ever PSGL drives where I came from the back of the grid to, to the podium. So um, somewhat similar to today, I guess, but there was a lot more cars on track, so it was a bit more impressive. And yeah, it's going to be a gruelling race. Um, I'm, I mean, I'm already expecting it to be you know the longest wet weather race of the season which is, you know, it's a real pain. So hopefully it's dry, because actually Singapore is quite a fun track to drive on in the dry. Um, so we will see. But I think we'll get a higher turnout next week for that, and I'll be probably batting further down the order. But yeah, it should be good fun. A ah, good one. Um, Grumps, what are your thoughts on Singapore? Mixed results 
three times, so that's probably going to be Your mic volume's a bit low. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not so sure. Erin, you've had some pretty mad races at Singapore. What are your thoughts on it? Oh, it's a very, very interesting um, circuit. You know, what else can I can I say to that? Um, you know, it's a track where anything can, can happen. You don't know what's going to happen with the conditions. You don't know what's going to happen with your cars. Um, the key is to have a good qualifying, stay out of trouble, and, you know, just bring the car home. So, yeah, as long as there's not too much drama, I'll be happy. A nice one. Thank you all for coming into a party after the race, and well done again on the podium finishes. Not not a race that's going to think is going to go down in PSGL history as one of the classics, but uh, still good for you guys nonetheless. Um, yeah, so Singapore next week. I'll be back for that, and that's bad news for all you guys, because every race I've commentated on has been wet. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yes. should be a fun one. We'll uh, see you next week for that. Bye, everyone. Yeah. Thanks for streaming. No worries.